hey everyone welcome back to my channel my name is ayush and you are watching the indian dev so guys in this video we will be talking about or we will be writing the polyfill code of promise.all we all know that promise is one of the important concept in javascript as we are working with a lot of asynchronous things in the javascript so yeah like uh, without any further delay let's jump on to the topic but before that i just wanted to make sure that if you haven't subscribed to my channel the indian dev then please consider subscribing to this channel and if you guys are using instagram on a daily basis you can definitely check out uh, my profile the indian dev and you can also follow that for regular tech updates so now uh, let's jump on to the topic that is polyfill code of promise.all so for that we need to understand that what are the promises and what is the state of promises so promises any you know eventual con completion of any asynchronous process apart from that any promise can be in these three states if it is successful it is failure or the state whenever we don't have the result so if we consider the case of any api call then the waiting time for that api response is called as pending state once it is successful it is called as the fulfilled state once it is uh, you know failed it is considered as the rejected state so now as promise.all as the name suggests it will be working with multiple promises and once uh, all the promises are uh, you know settled down then only we will have the response so for that what i can do is i can have two promises uh, here i am having two promises one is instantly rejecting something and another one is asynchronous process that we are using set timeout method with uh, you know 1000 milliseconds so these are the promises let's see uh, what will be the uh, what, like how promise.all will be working let me write the syntax of promise.all as well so i'm doing it fast because we need to uh, go to the polyfill code of promise.all and i believe that you already know about promise.all just for the recap i can see that in the promise.all method you will provide an array of promises right we already have two promises and we are providing that as the array of promises so input is array of promises or any values okay here we can also have any value like 10 so right now i'm going with promises only and it say it returns the result okay so let me mark it as resolver as well just to check the positive scenario only so here you can see it uh, returns the array of results of input promises so there are two promises and we have the exact number of results as well so that we will receive in the then block if everything goes well and wait for all promises so let me you know here you can see it is instantaneously resolving and it is resolving after one second so let's see i'm refreshing the page there is no response the response we are only getting once all of them are resolved that is after 1000 milliseconds so that's how promise dot all then behavior is working and here you can see wait for all the promises to be resolved or any to be rejected so here you can see like if uh, we reject this then it will not wait for its completion or it will not give you result for the other completed uh, promises it will instantaneously show you that yeah, this one is error and not all of the promises are resolved okay you will get the result if any of the promises is rejected so one is rejected you instantaneously get the result so that's how this promise.all is working just to check it is going in all the code so what i can do is i can write a console log just a different log just to check if uh, it's going here or not so it is rejected and after one second you see that this code is also being executed so all the promises or all the promises will be executed but if there is any error it will you know directly reject your promise.all method and you will be in the catch block so that's how promise.all method is working now what i will be doing is i will be writing my own polyfill for promise.all so here i'm starting uh, with the promise and let's name it my all method so this my all method will simply behave as uh, the promise.all method so what i'll be doing is okay so as we all know the input is array of promises so i'm taking them as array of promises and promise.all all method is also returning a promise that we can handle in then or catch block so from here i'll be returning a new promise that is not a big deal uh, we can have resolve and reject so i've created a promise to return from promise.all okay so here what i need to do is i need to you you know 
this is the area of promises so i will be iterating it so i will be using a for loop let i equals to zero i is less than as this is the area of promises so i is less than the length of array and i plus plus okay so for that uh, as we know that it returns the array of results so what i can do is i can define a uh, results array where we can store the results of all the uh, you know promises and uh, yeah let's start so as we all know these are the uh, all the promises so for that what i can do is i can simply you know if i will go to the uh, any of the index i will receive a promise and we all know that how to deal with the promise so yeah and the, it will be if it is resolved we will be in the then block if it is uh, rejected or any exception is there we will be in the catch block okay so let's see uh, what we need to do if that is resolved if promise one is resolved what we need to do is we need to push it into the results array and at the same index so that we are not confusing uh, with the orders of you know promises and its responses so i'll be keeping the data at the same index and now uh, like how i will know that all the promises are resolved so in that case i need to keep a counter counter can be can be initiated with zero and let's uh, define here so once any of the promises you know resolved i'll be incrementing the counters and once uh, okay so if there are two promises then i need to check if counter is uh, counter values equals to 2 then i need to resolve this particular array so that my all method can uh, return something okay so for that what i can do is i can again apply a check if counter is equals to equals to array dot promises length okay so if that's the case i will be resolving my final promise that i am returning from this method and in this resolution i'll be passing i'll be passing the results promise dot my all is there so what i can do is i can comment out uh, this particular method and instead of using the traditional promise dot all i'll be using my own method that is promise dot my all and let me uncomment it and let's see how it is working okay okay so as of now this is rejected this is okay so we haven't handled the catch case so if uh, they uh, all of them are resolved then in that case let's see if it is working fine or not so yeah here you can see it is working absolutely fine let me remove this console and now you can check so for all the resolution case it is working absolutely fine and as we all know that if any error is there or any promise is rejected then in that case we need not to send the complete array we will be simply rejecting that particular exception okay so here uh, that's what i have done here so let's see if uh, i reject this particular promise so it is rejected as per the promise one so that's how our uh, promise dot my all method is working so that is the complete code for polyfill of promises one more thing one more case that we can cover is uh, like uh, let's see if i am keeping it like this and i am having another promise const promise three okay and it is uh, not a promise it is a simple value then let's see how it is behaving in different different methods this is uh, promise dot all dot this thing and this is promise dot my all and let me resolve this as well now let's see if uh, how it is working on or not okay so here you can see that in our code it, at line number 50 where is 50 okay 50 we are having a catch in my all method so it is saying array of promise dot then is not a function so definitely then 10 is not a promise or not any thing that we can wait on okay so the dot then and dot catch method will not be available for the value 10 okay so in that case what we need to do is we just need to write promise and we need to now you can see everything is working fine so what we have done is if that is not a promise that then also we are making it as a promise and we are directly resolving that particular value so that's how we have implemented the polyfill code of promise dot my promise dot all method so i believe you have learned a lot of things from this video and definitely there can be a lot of improvements javascript under the hood is doing a lot of things better than this code but yeah if you have any suggestion you can definitely tell me in the comment section or you can definitely you know write on the github repository of this particular code the link you can find in the description so yeah if you learned something from this video then 
give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel then consider subscribing to the indian dev thank you for watching this video guys thank you very much